In 2019, we were both embarking on legal careers that to the outside world made it look like we seemed successful, but deep inside left us feeling stuck and unfulfilled. Fast forward a few years, we've now said bye bye to our legal careers and now run a multi six figure videography business. And in this video, we're going to be sharing with you guys the exact money amounts that we made in our first year as beginner videographers trying to do this professionally. Part one, imposter syndrome. After buying a first camera in June 2019 and learning our camera settings, we decided to put ourselves out there and start getting some real world practice by shooting for some local businesses every weekend. It wasn't until January 2020 when Jason and I sat down and actually thought, hey, let's actually start presenting ourselves as a business. And that's when we came up with our business name, RZ Media. In January 2020, our total revenue generated was $2,505. In February, it was $1,995, and in March, it was $4,010. So a majority of the gigs during this period were small social media shoots for local restaurants and businesses. So we would go into the business for about two hours and film a library of 10 social media clips for them that they can use over the next three months on their social media page. And we'll charge roughly around $200 to $300 per shoot. Most of these gigs were actually coming from a local social media marketing agency who had actually found us in late December on Instagram. Once they came across our Instagram page and were really impressed with the portfolio of videos that we had uploaded on there. And as a beginner, it's really great to try and get in with these local marketing agencies. But in order to get in, you really have to build a really high quality portfolio to start off with. During this period, I remember feeling a heavy sense of imposter syndrome. We were using a beginner $500 camera to create videos and people were actually willing to pay us money for them. It was actually low key kind of embarrassing when we would rock up to shoots with our $500 beginner camera and a kit lens and we would meet other videographers and photographers who would be using $2,000, $3,000 cameras like your Sony A7Ies and your Canon 5Ds. But despite the imposter syndrome, we honestly didn't care. We loved what we were doing. We were actually producing pretty good work despite our limited gear and we were getting paid for it. And so if you are a beginner videographer who thinks you need all this gear to get started, just take it from our journey. You really don't need all that much. We just had a beginner camera, a kit lens, and one of these small aperture LED lights, and we were good to go. Part two, am I a professional? So in April, 2020, we made a total of $2,985. In May, 2020, we made $2,325. And in June, 2020, we made $5,000. $733. During this time, we were also starting to do a lot of real estate walkthrough videos for local real estate agents. How we actually got into the door with these guys was we would go onto the local real estate listing website in our area, grab all the mobile phones and emails of all the local real estate agents in our area, asking if we could firstly do a video for them for free. Once we did a video for them for free, we would then show them our prices going forward if they want to keep working with us. And through this strategy, we actually managed to get three to four local real estate agents who ended up using us on a regular basis each month to film their real estate listings. This was the period when we actually realized that people were willing to consistently pay us for the skill. And this no longer became a hobby for us anymore. This started becoming more of an actual business. During this period, we had also started to generate enough income now to actually start reinvesting back into more professional equipment. So things like we bought a Sony a7 III and a Tamron 28 to 75 lens. Part three, I'm gonna quit my job. So this was a big time period for us in terms of revenue. In July, 2020, we made a total of $8,585. In August, we made $6,000. $213. And in September, we made $9,544. This was an exciting but stressful period in the year. We established a relationship with a major client, a developer who had multiple projects across Sydney, who started using us to produce videos for all of their projects. The marketing manager for this client actually came across our Instagram page liked our work and sent us an email inquiry for us initial small video project where we charged for memory around 700 bucks. So it wasn't too big, but we did an amazing job for that first piece of work, built up a really good relationship with the client and they started using us ongoing for their future video projects. 
Fast forward three to four years later, we are still working with them to this day. Developing this one key business relationship pretty much tripled our revenue overnight. We went from producing these fun little catchy TikTok style social media videos for local restaurants and walkthrough videos for local real estate agents to suddenly doing these massive video production projects to advertise whole apartment complexes and developments. The projects that we got to work on during this time period took us to the next level. We started to gain the belief that we could actually do larger scale video projects and work with much bigger clients and actually turn this thing into a full-time business rather than just a little side hobby. I remember in the month of September feeling so ecstatic that we had made over $9,000 with our videography business because bear in mind, this income was side income in addition to the salary that I was earning in my nine to five job as a lawyer. So at that time, I had never seen so much money in my life. And this was the first point in time when I actually entertained the thought of potentially quitting my job and pursuing my business full-time. A common goal for a lot of you guys is to turn videography into your full-time career path and more specifically to be able to make a six-figure income. And so we've recently actually just launched our one-on-one -on -one coaching program called the Six Figure Filmmaker Coaching Program. I'll leave a link to the application page in the description box down below if you want to check it out and learn a little bit more about the program. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the final time period. Part four, the entrepreneurial mindset. This is the last time period, the last quarter of the year. So in October 2020, we made $5,227.77. In November, we made a total of $6,645. And in December, we made $3,410. This was the period when we actually took a step back and had a deep think about the direction of our business. Up until this point, a majority of our work was still doing these sort of small social media shoots for local businesses where we would do $200 or $300 for a two hour shoot and we would produce 10 videos that they could upload on their Instagram over the next few months. It was great practice for us as beginners to learn our craft and develop our work, but it got to a point where it was starting to feel like a lot of shooting and editing. We were doing about 25 to 30 projects each month and honestly, we started feeling a little bit burnt out. At this time, we had very little experience with business, and so we had absolutely no idea how to go about finding high paying projects. Luckily for my very first shoot, which was a wedding shoot for one of my best friends in primary school that I did for free, I met the photographer on the day that told me that he charges $3,000 to shoot a wedding. And to me, at the time, that was insane to me that you could charge $3,000 to photograph someone's wedding. And not only that, he actually told me that couples on average pay between five to $10,000 for a photo and video package for their wedding day. We decided to try get our foot into the wedding photography and videography industry. Remember this was 2020, so COVID had absolutely obliterated the wedding photography and videography industry earlier in the year. And so we knew that in 2021, 2022, there'll be a lot of couples getting married. So now was the time to start building our portfolio so we could service those couples. During this period, we focused on shooting three weddings for our portfolio. The first one was just a wedding video, which we actually did for free. The second one, we got paid $500 in cash for a wedding video. And the third one, we actually did photos and videos for $600. During this period, we also focused on organizing a lot of fake engagement shoots for our family and friends, just to continue to build our skills in this industry and our portfolio. And we created a website with the three portfolio weddings that we shot, plus all the fake engagement shoots that we had shot for family and friends. And then we launched the website to the world. During this period, we actually started to learn how to think a little bit more like an entrepreneur. We learned how to identify business opportunities, such as the disruption to the wedding photography and videography industry as a result of COVID. And we learned how to identify steps to take in order to maximize those opportunities. So the total amount of money that we earned as beginning videographers in our first 12 months of starting from scratch, drum roll please, was $59,177.77. So if you're watching this and you're anything like us back in January, 2020, and you've always wanted to start something of your own, I encourage you to just start with the first step, whether that's buying your first camera, learning your camera basics, 
reaching out and starting to build your portfolio or getting your first paid client, whatever it is, just take the first step. Start when you don't feel ready because if you wait until you are ready, you will never start. With some focused effort over the next six months to 12 months, you can literally change your life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this valuable. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and hit, drop a comment down below. It really helps with our YouTube algorithm to push this video out to more people just like you. And we would love to have you in the community if you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell button. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next video.